Okay, so hopefully you type this up and you put your name in there and printed it and felt pretty cool about it. Um, I forgot to mention that the double quotes denotes a string, which basically means uh, text. And console.writeline here expects that text. Um, basically, we're saying, hey, console, which is the black window, please write the dot as a way to delineate between the uh, class name and method name, which you don't need to stress about for now, but basically console.writeLine uh, this string. <clears throat> so getting on to variables, um, I can say string, uh, my string gets Jamie King. And what my string represents is essentially a piece of RAM in your computer. <clears throat> and in math, we say my string equals Jamie King, which is like a, a statement. It's we're saying my string, uh, its value is Jamie King. But in coding, we're actually saying, hey, take the value on the right and shove it, or stuff it, or put it, or assign, or gets, or whatever you want to call this thing, into this variable. This variable being my string. So in math, you might be used to saying x gets five. Well, instead of saying x, I'm saying my string gets uh, the string Jamie King. Um, this out here is called declare, uh, the type declaration. So when I say string my string, I am declaring my string. I'm saying, hey, computer, I need some RAM that will hold a string, and that's what it will hold, will be a string. So another type we could get into is int... Um, age. How about that? And I actually don't have to assign it. I can just put a semicolon out here. But essentially I've said to the computer, hey computer, give me another variable named age in RAM and it will store an int. Int is another type, is what we call them. And types uh, essentially determine what that piece of RAM can store or how it is interpreted. So int uh, represents counting numbers, both negative and positive. So it could be negative 300, negative whatever, um, one, two, three, four, five. They're counting numbers. Uh, five point blah, blah, blah is not a counting number. It's called a floating point number. We'll get into that a little later. So int age, uh, I'm going to sign up my age, which I'm going to lie is, uh, how old am I? somewhere around 30. So now I have two variables. I have my string and I have age. Now I can't turn around and say age gets uh, Jamie King because age is declared as an int. So Jamie King, the string J-A-M-I-E-K-I-N-G is not an int. So I cannot put that into age. Nor can I say my string gets 30. Because string, my string is set up to store strings of characters uh, delimited by double quotes. So those are incompatible. But now I can say, hey, console dot right line, my string, console dot right line, uh, age, and hit Control F5 to run this again, and <coughs> we see my name. And my age print into the black console window. Now, just to have some fun here, instead of hitting Control F5, I'm going to hit F10.